Right, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel and a massive thank you, of course, to everybody out there that is liking and subscribing and commenting on my videos. So, thanks a lot for all of that. So, what I decided to do actually after I got asked, I think it was Paul over at uh, Plastic Monkey, um, did a bit of a tour around his workshop and he said I should do one of mine. So, uh, anyway. Enough of the waffle, um, let's have a look at Greybeard Models and uh, our, our domain, so let's have a look round. Right, so here we go, into the world of Greybeard Models. Um, so this is like a what we call over here in the UK, I suppose, a, a box room or a, a, yeah, a small room. Um, and it's pretty good, this room, because it's got a window there and a window there. So it's got what they call dual aspect. Um, so there's a lot of natural light that comes in. I've got the lights on as well, but that's because I'm filming. So I share this room. <laughs> um, it's got... Um, a load of storage boxes over here. This this is um, mainly my son's stuff. Although I've got a few bits and pieces of materials there, and uh, also over here we have a, I've got a fan. Um, I've got a a model railway test track there. I, I used used to have a model railway in here, but uh, that went. Um, so I've got a CD player dab radio that sort of thing there and a whole stack of cds there um i know some of you guys with your modern computer things and streaming and downloading and all that stuff but i'm i'm sort of old school even that is an old school as far as i'm concerned but anyway here's my stash starting up here so a whole, whole stash of, of kits and things um various sort of 1 16th scale, 1 9th scale um, they're not in any particular order really they're just in sort of box size order um, I've got a couple of uh, the, the pig models um, 1 to 1 scale um, shells aren't they, you know projectiles type stuff um, got a stack of a couple of uh, of uh, Lancasters there, the Lancaster nose kit that I'm sort of modifying and there's a 148th scale Hong Kong models uh, Lancaster and then here I've got a couple of 124 kits, there's the Airfix Spitfire and the Hurricane um, these are the old kits if you like um, Steamroller and the Pendle Princess 116th scale by Bandai um, I think I did an unboxing of, of these um, and then it's just various aircraft vehicles aircraft and vehicles and stuff and this sort of junk here this is my um, ga ruined garage project um, sitting there and got a Tammy R Spitfire that I'm working on on, in the background and a, a full trimotor that I picked up the other day um, which was quite good Warhammer figure there and then underneath these shelves I've got uh, a whole pile of junk there there's a storage tub at the bottom there that's got uh, magazines in and then I've got uh, these two little sort of bedside cabinet things um, which are stuffed with various bits and pieces there's some plastic filing wallets there um, and me paint shaker and a turntable a couple of um, optimizer type things there um, this one's got stuff there from a wet palette a couple of notebooks that sort of thing and it's just you know the usual paraphernalia um, scroll saw is quite useful um, then I've got my um, <coughs> Panzer Repair Kit, kit <laughs> um, there, 
uh, the Airfix guidebooks. Got the full set there. Um, Airfix Canada and stuff like that. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, there's a couple of suitcases under there. They're, they're, they're from my daughter. Um, when she moved out, she said, "Oh, we can't can't get rid of these suitcases, Dad. They've got stuff in that I want." That was about ten years ago. Um, still got them. Uh, the paint painting mask there, and then this side here, we got uh, my sort of storage of small bit, bits, old odds and sods. There, some artist paints or paints. Uh, pastels, that sort of thing, uh, cotton swabs, and then I've got into here uh, various cleaners and thinners, stash of old, uh, cheap old Chinese um, airbrushes that I used. Really should get them out and give them a, a service and that. And then we've got my sort of primers and finishing coats, glosses, varnishes, and that sort of thing. And then this is my sort of alcohol, <laughs> um, Mr. Leveling Thinner, airbrush flow improver and airbrush cleaner there. And this is where I do all my mixing of paint and stuff. So if there is any spillage, it goes on here and it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> and then underneath I've got a compressor sitting there and the various boxes of bits, um, bits and pieces of scrap parts and stuff like that and then I've got my spray booth um, this is a really nice spray booth it's got two fans in the back to extract the air um, I've got this um, lined at the moment with um, paper because if I'm doing um, acrylics the, it's not really fumes um, so it's just nice if I'm doing low pressure and stuff like that this, the spray booth actually got built-in lighting which is quite cool so it's quite handy to do paint in here because I've got a really good light source and I can do all sorts of things and then we've got the extractor hose there um, and what I can do is open the window there and poke the hose out so if I'm doing stuff that's sort of really smelly um, that can be extracted out and then below here um, this is like a these here both of these are, are like cheap desks um, got them in one of the local stores over here in the UK um, and then I put some MDF board over the top just to give it one big surface um, and, and this has got sort of more junk in it basically but all sorts of bits and pieces and things um, and then we come round to this side where I've got my, my wet palette and a box of masking tape and some sanding sticks a little jar of water um, for sort of current projects um, the pyro vintage brass kit the pie wagon there that's sort of sitting there having been sort of some work being done on it and then I've got my stash of, of paints uh, in the majority majority is Vallejo uh, I must admit and then I've got sort of wet various sort of weathering washes and pigments and stuff and old Humbrol paints um, sitting there and more weathering weathering stuff and then these uh, uh, storage racks that I've got all the little drawers with all little bits and pieces and these these are sort of the, the most prominent drawers the ones that I use all the time are close are close by so they're you know all my pack pegs and clips and then fillers and putties and shaping tools all sorts of things like that quite useful these bits of the aircraft stands I'll come to those in a minute and here we've got all sorts of old pliers and bits and pieces there um, so there this surface here I've, I've sort of got a couple of big uh, cutting mats there and, and, a, and a working cutting mat um, and then going here I've got some more sort of storage 
drawers, so all my drills and files are in there. And then scribing and riveting stuff is in there. Knives and blades and saws and all that sort of things there. And then underneath is sort of the, the, the glues and stuff. So all of these sort of thing area here, this is, this is all the stuff that I really go to pretty much all the time. And then here I've got all sorts of sort of sprue goo mixes and Mr. Surfacer and um, um, flare decal setting solutions and stuff like that. Um, and super glues. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, up here on, on the wall, but <laughs> there's actually a mirror there, but I use it for putting my sort of post it notes to remember to do things and stuff like that. Uh, the old Greybeard Models logo there, and then a stash of brushes, cutters, scissors, screwdrivers, all sorts of bits and pieces, and more tools here, sundry tools in there, and a Stanley knife, toothbrushes, all sorts of things, and then all my etched tools are in there, and then a little bit more storage space, and an old desk tidy with the sort of go-to tools that I use all the time so I've got my scalpels and cutters and various sort of probes and super glue apply, um, applicators, a couple of pens and all that sort of junk <coughs> oh excuse me and then going up here uh, what have we got, a couple of flags there, the Union Jack of course or the Union flag and the other flag there is the flag of Devon, which is where I was born. So, um, so that that's that. And then I've got more aircraft stands and things that I use for, for working on. Um, and then more more kits in the stash there. Some of which I may have mentioned before, and some I probably haven't. And there's a whole load there as well. All this various stash there and then on over here I've got a sort of bookshelf thing got all my figures and accessory kits there and boxes of bits and figures and all sorts of things um, and then coming down here box of sprues obviously used for that um, and other bits and pieces that I work on that's me the Warhammer figure that I featured in a video and various bits of junk, there's some display mount and glues and all sorts of odds, odds and bits and pieces really and then down here I've got a sum of my reference books and and that sort of thing and then over here I've got a filing cabinet that's got uh, decals and brass edge and all sorts of odds and stuff in there and then going back up over the top um, we've got an old stack of motorcycle kits there that I think they're working on and some of which I may have mentioned and then there's some more kits over here and then over the top here we've got even more kits and 124 scale fire engine and the 124 Spitfire, the new Airfix one, and then a whole stash of, of other sundry kits that I may or may not have mentioned. And that's all sitting on top of this wardrobe, which is full of old coats and all that sort of junk. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was this is my collection of uh, cards from, from various kit builders. Thanks, guys. And a couple of cards down there from from my brother. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, where we are. So this is a Greybeard Models workshop and uh, my inner inner sanctum, if you like. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's this is where all, all the all, all, all the magic happens I suppose you could say um, anyway so I hope you enjoyed that little tour and uh, yeah that's what uh, that's where that's where we are um, 
so anyway thanks for watching um, and uh, I'll see you on the next video bye for now